Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on December 6th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well as earthquakes and world weather, and a look at air quality forecast. Always starting out here looking at our sun as we reported a couple strong M class solar flares yesterday, and this activity has been continuing now with that very active and growing sunspot region top left hand side you're going to see that cresting now on the incoming imagery here right hand side multiple solar flares small cme looking at the last 48 hours outgoing pretty large plasma filament Stretching off the surface and ripping away there on the left-hand side. That would be the north of our sun. Another close look here at this very active and growing sunspot region. Most likely a sunspot grouping. You can see the plasma being sent back and forth between sunspots. And look at all that plasma lifting there in the last few images. Whoa. Stay tuned for the next Daily Do, giving you the full and updated imagery here looking at multi-spectrum pointing out the last 48 hours of events as we've had quite a few yesterday reported in the video solar flare frenzy well that continues and we've got coronal hole region turning away now coronal hole intensification of our solar winds will die down 171 angstroms here this is where you can really see the umbral fields of the sunspot regions nine sunspots to show right now still two very big black spots on the center disk of our sun and there is that very active region coming in just another light to see our beautiful sun space weather conditions currently we are under r1 a minor radio blackout impacts expected Solar winds are coming in at 554 kilometers per second, still well over 500, almost double the average solar wind speed. Solar X-ray flux showing a strong M-class solar flare just recently. So we've seen four, if not five, M-class solar flares the past 48 hours. Geomagnetic activity hanging around a KP2 and three. Space Weather Prediction Center here showing the most recent space weather spiral. No major events thwarted our way. Minor glancing blow here with the ISWA prediction spiral. Small intensification of the solar wind stream that was already coming in. Not to mention our coronal hole wind stream. Now let's have a look at Alaska 2. Showing the last 48 hours events. Pretty large CME taking off there, outgoing. Not in an Earth direction. Right there. Pretty large CME. Outgoing sunspot region producing M class solar flare. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours as we're hovering around 190 earthquakes, according to USGS. But we're still seeing multiple earthquakes, still strong magnitude as well through the Philippines. Today we've seen the strongest through the region was a 5.6, 5.4, Hinantuan, Hinatuan, Mindano, Papua New Guinea here, 5.1, 167 kilometer depth. That's the deepest the past 24 hours. No deep earthquakes in Fiji. Things quieting down at Hawaii since yesterday's 5.1, as well Alaska, United States, largest across American soil, being a 3.7 there in Ocotillo, California, nine kilometer depth. Other than that, still lots of activity, uh, Texas Mexico border. Quiet through the Caribbean, way too quiet as of late. Looking at South American plate here, 4.3 Argentina, and as well a 5.0 magnitude. Asan, Chile, 
and a 4.9 magnitude here. Scotia Plate, South Sandwich Islands. And earthquakes continuing here in the Gulf of Aden, reporting another 4.5 today. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes around the world. Quick glance, the last seven days as these earthquakes continue to pile up east of the Philippines, off the coast there. Big changes happening to our planet right now, and it is being shown here with earthquakes and as well all the volcanic activity that we've seen over the past few years. Earthquakes in diverse places. Heads up, stay aware and prepared. Now let's get to the air quality forecast here by windy.com showing SO2, which is sulfur dioxide, mostly brought to you by our erupting volcanoes around the world. Not too much to report here. No major eruptions being shown. Pacific Disaster Center is not reporting any new volcanoes awakening. Quite a bit of SO2 coming out of New Caledonia, Aoba, and as well all across Indonesia. And now SO2 is making it across the Atlantic, heading into France for this long range forecast. Now let's get to weather here, brought to you by windy.com and daily events worldwide. Big low pressure system with multiple low pressure systems involved with it. Across the North Atlantic, they'll start to break up. Multiple lows grinding through the Mediterranean. Intense weather building for South Africa. Long range forecast for most of Europe, high pressure ridge will be moving in, but cold temperatures will be from the east at the same time. Quick browse here overlooking precipitation models for South Africa, as you guys are going to have some extreme weather here this week, 12th into the 13th. Two pretty strong low pressure systems affecting South Africa this week. Overlooking North America, South America, Alberta Clipper moving across eastern Canada. It's going to head up into the Hudson Bay. Low pressure center coming out of the Gulf is going to streamline up the east coast of North America. Set to give most of the Atlantic provinces a wallop, winter wallop as lots of eastern Canada is cold and west is warm. Overlooking Southeast Asia, Australia. Still have a cyclone that is tracking towards northeastern New South Wales. And as well, a lingering low there. Northern Territory will eventually scoot southward and then race across Tasmania. At the same time, that cyclone will be making landfall northeastern regions of Australia. But the next few days is going to be intense here for Alaska. Multiple systems coming through and a butt ton of slow, a butt ton of snow. <laughs> Looking at possibly 600 centimeters in some areas. Having a look here at temperature forecast, long range. Extreme cold temperatures dipping down higher elevations through the United States. Warm temperatures through northern Alberta. A little bit rare for this season. Having a look here at accumulation totals for snow. Watching the top left-hand side for accumulation totals. As you can see across northern BC and Alaska, upwards of 554 centimeters of snow coastal regions will be inundated by this winter storm over the next little while. So heads up Alaskans and much love to everybody worldwide. Thank you so much for your subscriptions, your likes, your comments, and the support to this channel. The memberships, we've got over 50 now. So thank you so much, everyone.
Much love. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.